with the reigning AFC champions, the Cincinnati Bengals, do you think that they repeat as division winners? Yeah, 100%. 100%. I uh, got all that LSU chemistry on the offensive side. The dynamic duo. You got Chase. You got Burrow. Okay? I mean, and as much as I want Lamar Jackson to pull through, like, I really like him. He's exciting to watch ever since Michael Vick, I would say. But, um... They're contenders, but I think I think the Bengals gonna blow them out. Yeah, um, I think a lot of people may agree that the Bengals, them getting to the Super Bowl last year was extremely rare, given the fact yeah. that the year prior they were one of the worst teams in the NFL. They weren't supposed to make the Super Bowl, uh, but I am gonna have to stick with the Bengals because I still believe that they're improving and they're getting better um are they gonna make the super bowl i don't know there's some pretty tough competition especially in the afc west so some people think that the Bengals didn't deserve to go to the super bowl did i hear that correctly not deserve because they they won like they did their job like yeah. if you win like like the new york giants back in 2007 let's, you know let's talk about like, it yeah let's <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's talk about that for a second it, i mean right. they, they were a little bit more of an, <laughs> an of an underdog um mm -hmm. But they still deserve to win because they beat the Packers, they beat the Cowboys, and they beat the undefeated Patriots. But looking at it in a perspective, it's like they weren't like the best team on paper, if that makes sense. Uh, for the Bengals, they're obviously much better mm -hmm. than the 07 Giants. I would still think that they are going to repeat as a division winner. Are they going to make the Super Bowl? I mean, with other teams like greatly improving, like the Chargers and it's it's gonna be tough. I, I I always go back to those AFC West teams, and I mean, okay. the competition just got a little bit tough. But I I still have them winning the AFC North. Uh, what about the AFC South? The AFC South is trash, but I'm gonna go with the Colts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well said, I'm well put. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Colts because I think Matt Ryan is gonna pull a Matthew Stafford and show what the Falcons are missing out on. I 100% agree with you that I don't know why the Falcons decided that it was time to get rid of Matt Ryan. Cause they still got to pay his contract a little bit. Mm -hmm. They only got a third round pick out of it, but I mean, it's the Colts for me as well. Now the Matt Ryan uh, led Colts are going to do some amazing thing. Jonathan Taylor as well. We know is one of the best backs in the NFL, young backs is, at least. Um, and so I think, I think the Colts, Get it. Now let's transition over to the AFC East. A um, couple of teams that made the playoffs out of that division. You got mm -hmm. the Bills and the Patriots from last year. Who wins it? The Bills. The Bills. Josh to Diggs. That's all you need. Josh to Diggs. That's all you need. Yeah, a little bit of Gabriel Davis sprinkled in there as well. Uh-huh, just a little bit. Yeah, uh -huh. just a little bit. But I, I wish... I am excited to watch the Dolphins, though. Okay, I mean, okay. You, you got Tyreek Hill and then Tua. You think he? You think Tua is going to be the real deal with Tyreek? Absolutely. I st yeah, I still believe in Tua. Now I believe in Tua more than Hurts. Really? Yep. Okay. Okay. So I will say this: with Tua, he's getting a lot of crap because uh, Tyreek has been saying all off season, which you got to hype up your. Your guy. It yeah. makes sense. But he's been saying, like, oh, yeah, two is the most accurate quarterback that I played with. Whoa, man. Hold on. You just played with an MVP, <laughs> a Super Bowl champion. Like, what? Just hold on. My home. Yeah. yeah. But uh, you look back at the stats, Tua actually had uh, two games last year that he completed over 80% of his passes. And the average is, like, just a little bit under 70%. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he had four games where it was over 70%. So it's like, I don't think the knock against Tua is he's not accurate. I think he is. It's the deep ball. And with Tyreek, hopefully that improves. Saw a little bit in the preseason, like a deep a little pass. Here and there. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit. But I think, I th okay, the Dolphins, I could see it with the new head coach. Now, they are saying that they want to run the ball at least 30 times a game, which means... Tyreek, is he going to get enough targets? Or are they going to pass a lot with Tua? I don't know. I don't think they're going to really like light it up in the pass game too much. Mm. But who knows? 
but yeah, I, I, I think the Bills. Bills for sure. Bills for sure. I think we're on the same page with that. Now, this is the toughest division to it, predict. It was. It was. <laughs> the AFC West, who you got? I mean, who, <laughs> who do you want to see or who's going to take it? <laughs> uh, give me both. Who's going to take it? Mahomes. Okay. And the Chiefs. Okay. All right, they're going to take it. Okay? That's a fair pick. You got man, my man thrown from the side, behind his leg, behind his back. It's crazy. Okay. Who do I want to see? I want to see the Broncos take it. Okay. Yeah, they got Wilson, and I think that's gonna be that's gonna be fun to watch. Yeah. Um, the Chargers look good because you got Sherbert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Herbert, <laughs> which is cool, and I like their uniforms. Okay, so you gave a lot of love to those three teams, but you didn't mention the Raiders. Do the Raiders have a shot? No. They made the playoffs last year. They beat the Chargers to beat to make it to the postseason without their head coach. It was a fluke. With, like, their star receiver. <laughs> yeah, could be a fluke. Uh, it was a close game. Um, mm-hmm. Could have gone either way. But, uh, yeah, it was without their head coach. It was without their star receiver having off-the-field issues. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first-round picks, I think it, another cornerback got released, uh, Damon Arnett, Arnett. So, I don't know. I mean, but I'm with you. I don't think it's the Raiders. Uh, <laughs> uh, I love the Raiders, You though. just want to fight for them. You just wanted to fight for them. No, I did. I did. I, I wanted to. Uh, fight for Raider Nation that's watching this right now. I'm going to actually have to go with the Chargers on this. I think Mahomes losing Tyree Kill is pretty big. Yeah. Now, I think Travis Kelsey in that sense is going to get – I think he's going to break the postseason record – not postseason, single season record for receptions by a Mm -hmm. tight end. Like, he's just going to get targeted so much. And I know they got Juju and and MVS and all them, but – Chargers just, man, when they had that offseason in free agency, they just added a lot of freaking pieces, man. They got Khalil Mack that they traded for. Uh, J.C. Jackson was the interception leader for the Patriots last year. Uh, another underrated defensive lineman, Sebastian Joseph Day. Um, and they added on to their uh, offensive line as well. Mm-hmm. I think it's just set up for them to yeah. – for a 9-8 team last year, that was just one or two plays away for making the playoffs, add in a lot of these pieces. I mean, you're talking about. Especially like with a, Mac, like you said. So you think you think the Chargers are going to take it? I do. I'm a big Chargers believer this year. And if I had to pick a Super Bowl team from the AFC, it would be the Chargers. I'm probably being a little bit optimistic with the – a little bit over-optimistic with the Broncos. I just always go for the sleepers. No. Always go for the sleepers. Don't sleep on the Broncos. No. They it, got Wilson. Yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be dope. And the Broncos, man, like they were just one quarterback away from having a great team. Like their mm-hmm. defense is good. They've got the weapons in Cortland Sutton, J- Jerry Judy. You've got the backs in Javante Williams and Melvin Gordon. It was just the quarterback play of Drew Locke and all those guys that were yeah. playing last year that didn't really do anything. And now you have Russell Wilson who's gonna bring consistency. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Broncos could definitely play spoiler. 